guys, welcome back. So today I do have a Whole Foods haul for you guys, but here's what happened. We're gonna change it up. He, I went. He happened. No, but yeah. uh, we broke the, what is it? Isn't it like the cardinal rule that you do not shop when you're hungry? Oh, yeah, we, we did that. What? <laughs> we did that. So here's It's not like thing. I'm gonna eat all six. You're gonna eat three and I'm gonna eat three. This is fine. This is fine. Oh my gosh, you guys, these vegan donuts are incredible from Whole Foods. They're amazing. So they used to be in the thing where you just got one, you <laughs> so, could pick one out, but because of COVID, yeah. nobody's touchy touchy. <laughs> you have to buy six at a time. And I was like, this is fine. I'll do it. I'm in. <laughs> so here's the thing. I actually needed a decent amount of fresh foods. I did. And you guys know I do my hauls completely different than what we're doing today. But I didn't really need a whole lot else. So we decided we're gonna change it up. We were starving and we're gonna taste test a bunch of these pre-made things that Whole Foods has that are vegan friendly, including the donut. And then I'll show you the rest that I got, but it's just not that much. It's not, it still costs the same though. It's Whole Foods. <laughs> I was like, I was like, we got all this cool stuff. I, you never brought this stuff home for you me. You never brought this home. So I was like, well, hold on. <laughs> Hold on. We can turn this into something. I was, like, I was like, I want to try these things. They're not cost effective. <laughs> At all. At all. But, but I, I want to try them. We are here for it. So I hope you guys enjoy. This is just a little different style. I have to say though, real quick. Not sure. I'm not sure about this It looks like, bacon. it's it looks like, like the color of lobster. <laughs> it looks like the color of lobster. It is. I will still like put the prices and I'll show you stuff closer up, but we are going to taste test some of these items because I'm fading. I'm hungry. It's your fault. It's your fault. We've got the edamame pot stickers with teriyaki sauce. Boom, boom. We won't eat those. We've got the, uh, <laughs> the vegan roasted Brussels sprouts and spinach with lemon. Yeah. I need help. Just, just put it where help. you picked it up from. I, I need help. help. <laughs> We've got the Whole Foods Vegan General Sow's Soy Nuggets. We I do. Eat, eat those too. We've got a calzone here. Roasted vegetable calzone. Vegan. Yes. We're going to eat that. And then vegan tuna. And I thought it was going to be like a chickpea version, but it's actually a plant-based tuna. I'm not sure like which kind out there, but we're going to try it all yeah. out. This and is a donut. She's been sandbagging me. Apparently they've had these things. I never knew. Or huh? we're doing the donut. Let's do a donut. We don't know what they taste like. I have no idea. No clue. Oh. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thumbs up. <laughs> I'm taking my cookie one. Thank you. My little cakey. Mmm, -hmm. they're terrible. Man, they're so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hi. What's up, guys? <laughs> I'm a grown woman. I could eat this before my real food. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta start cooking, but it's gonna get noisy. Okay. Oh my god. All right, we've got it all prepared now, my friends. I have right here some safe and fair sea salt protein crisps. They're kind of like chips, meat, rice puffs, kind of. We're gonna yeah. use it for the tuna here. Now, I told you guys, I don't really like, I've never liked seafood and uh, fish and stuff, but tuna was okay once in a while. So I'm open to it, but let's give it a whirl. Wow. It's good, it's very fresh. Oh, oh, good. oh, but you know what? She's got a strong seafood taste at the end. Yeah. At first it was like really fresh, herby. Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm not saying it's bad, but again, just like I said, I've never been a seafood. That does have it some does. fishy. It does. <clears throat> Do you like it? It's fishy. I like it. I like it until that very end. It's yeah. fishy. Ooh. That's vegan, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I feel like that, like if you ate this whole thing and like you burped later. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. Okay. Okay, I, okay. I'm not, mm, for me, it's very strong, actually. So, you, you like you that. You could love it. Yeah. But you'd have to, you'd have to be cool with that. Yeah, that's got a strong one. 
All right, so this is the Hinichon 2, the General Sao's, um, what do they call it? Vegan little bits, little chicken bits, chicken bits but they're, you know, of course, vegan. Oh, it's, it smells good. This one smells good. Mm hmm. It's good. It's mm -hmm. good. It's got a little heat. Is it not spicy to you? Mm -hmm. There's some spice there, okay? <laughs> it's not bad. No, those are good. Those are good. Those are good. A little bit of a kick, though. All right, let's get into these little Brussels sprouts. You know, health. Let's try it. Brussels sprouts, you don't see me buy too much. They're not like. I don't hate them, but. It's hard to get it right. Mm hmm. They're really good. Yeah. I prefer them like in a stir fry or like even on a salad. I just but to eat them alone is not like my typical go to, I guess. But they're good. This just needs a little bit of like sea salt on it. Yeah. Not yeah. super strong in lemon, but still really good. These are the little edamame pot stickers. Could you help me out? <laughs> And this comes with a teriyaki sauce. I did double check because these do not specifically say vegan, but they there's nothing in it. I thought maybe the sauce might have something, but. Mm -mm. They have a little bit of corn in them. Mm. Yeah, baby. Mm hmm. These are very good. You can see there's a definitely, like, it's green edamame. Mm hmm. Those are good. Mm hmm Just show them. Yes. Looks good. There's no cheese. Not even like a fake, you know, vegan cheese. Definitely a lot of veggies going on. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's, so, re it's really good, but there's no sauce. There's no, like, marinara sauce, mm -hmm. which would, like, I wouldn't think is a calzone. Do you know what I mean? Oh, good. Maybe if you had like a dipping sauce. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, sometimes it's like it came, it didn't come with the marinara sauce. If they put like a marinara mm -hmm. sauce in there, you can put it over the top yeah. at the end. That'd it be pretty that, cool. I think it's very good though, but I feel like you might be disappointed when you see calzone mm -hmm. and then it's not in there. No. Well, but the inside and the dough and everything mm -hmm. is very, very good. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. It just needs some marinara sauce. Yes. Just eat a donut. <laughs> mm. I think they're all good though. Mm -hmm. I mean, on the go. The whole idea is on the go. Mm -hmm. Convenience, pop it in a microwave or, you know, air fry it. God, these are good. Yeah. Or just eat it. <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, or dinner. <laughs> but I think for convenient pre made food, these are actually pretty good. And I don't think they're completely unhealthy for what they are. I mean, there's worse options out there. Huh? For sure. <laughs> on the donut. The donut's about as bad as you can get. Sometimes you just gotta do it, you know? The calzone's good, but... It needs something. I need a dip in sauce. Mm -hmm. This, you don't. All right, I'll show you what I got now. And I feel better. I, need, I needed a little something. You needed a donut. I needed a donut. You needed a donut. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought, you know, that'd be a quick way to share with you guys what our thoughts are on some of the pre-made stuff. Overall, pretty good for what it is, you know? All right. I'll show you what I got. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, my friends. So I did go ahead and get a couple heads here of broccoli. I am completely out right now. It's kind of funny. Yesterday, the vlog went up with the broccoli salad and then those beer rocks. And I had a little bit of that broccoli salad left over. And it's like, we need, we need some more broccoli so you can, you know, make another batch. I'm like, oh, yeah. So <laughs> got some more of that. And then also some zucchini here as well. They're pretty small, relatively small. So got a few of those. I did need to stock up on berries again. That is something I definitely get through. Usually by Friday, by the end of the week, I am needing them. And these look just so delicious. Oh my goodness. I got strawberries last week too. And I haven't been getting them all that often. But again, they've been looking so good recently. So went ahead and got some of those. Got some blackberries here for Nate. 
got some blueberries you know the drill for me and I shared with you guys I think even last week or the week before what I've been doing is kind of just taking meal prep containers and you know doing a medley of all of these and it's so good to have ready to go in your fridge and then most of the time what I do is I take about half of one of those in the morning to put over my oats and then at night I take the other half and put a little bit of like cocoa whip on it it's an amazing little dessert so good so again Again, needed my berries and so I got a couple things here of the raspberries too these were actually on sale right now at Whole Foods so got some of those got some more mandarin oranges you know the drill get your vitamin C it's what I do every day love them I got some Roma tomatoes here for some salsa and then also some grapes this time I got some red seedless grapes and then also some green grapes here Got some cilantro again for the salsa. I think Nate went ahead and grabbed like a couple bunches here, maybe even three. I don't know, but we're all set on the cilantro. I did get some more Honeycrisp apples too. Love them. They're my favorite variety. So, so good. So got some of those. And then, like I said yesterday, sharing on the vlog, I actually did make up those little vegan beer rocks. Well, I did leave a couple for Nate and he, they're gone now. <laughs> And he loved them. And he's like, you got to make that again. And they were so simple, my friends. Again, if you caught that, you saw how it came together. And I used crescent rolls. And I just wanted to share with you guys that I got the Pillsbury ones. And those are totally vegan. At least the original crescent rolls. Now, I'm not sure if every variety in their line is, but those are. And this one here, the Immaculate brand, is the same thing. So, Got to be a little careful with this kind of stuff as many of them I do think have like butter in them or even maybe egg, but many don't and are technically vegan friendly. So I got another one so we could do that. And that's the aftermath of first said donut in a half that we took. But seriously, you get six of them in here, my friends. They're like a variety. They're all incredible. Like they're so, so good. So when you want to treat yourself, oh my gosh, look at it. <laughs> go ahead and do it this again is a little interesting to me doesn't that look so different right I don't know it's weird too because it almost looks like like almost like a lard around it you know what I'm saying has anybody tried this before what do you think Am I really in for it I don't know but what if it's amazing right I've told you guys the only like plant-based bacon that we've really had that I can think of is the sweet earth one, the benevolent bacon. And I've always told you it's really good. It's got a great smoky flavor, but I wouldn't say the texture is the greatest thing. Uh, if, especially if you're trying to compare it to, you know, real bacon, I don't know, but I mean, look at the picture. It even looks like it'll like cook up that way. I will keep you guys posted, my friends. I will. And we will see. It's mostly coconut oil. It's interesting, huh? We'll see. I don't know. And then I went ahead and got some of these chickpea puffs vegan ranch. We've talked about this, especially on a lot of like vegan cut subscription boxes that we taste test for you guys, that it's so cool when they throw in a ranch flavor because Honestly, it's a hard one to find that's actually vegan. A lot of the times things that are ranch are not vegan and I love ranch. So I saw these and I was like, that's what I'm going to do this time. So I'll try these out. And then Nate saw these little pea crisps, lightly salted. I'm sure they're delicious. I'm sure they're very much like the veggie straws. So he got some of those. And then this lesser evil, speaking of the vegan cuts box, I believe that was one of the first times we tried this brand out and we've been really, really impressed with it. And this is the no cheese, little cheesiness puffs. I may have even tried these, but it's definitely been a while. So got some of those for my kiddo too. And then this is a new butter, at least to me. It is vegan. It is gluten-free, uh, keto-friendly as well. What is RSPO? We're always learning new things here. Like you means kosher. I never knew that. But this is the Cultured Kitchen Betta Butter. I love that. It's cute. Uh, so I thought I would give it a go. I usually get Earth Balance, and I saw that this was right next to it, so I just thought I would try it out, and it was even a little bit cheaper too. So we will see. Got some more lavash bread, my friends. This is one of my favorites recently. You guys know the drill. If you already follow, I make little uh, like kind of pinwheel roll up sandwiches like this. So delicious. That's been my like go to post workout meal. I just love it. So I got some more of these and these are the whole grain and flax ones. And then again, 
You guys know if you follow my hauls week to week, I don't normally shop like this often. <laughs> I don't. But again, we were hungry, my friends, and we went in there and we shouldn't have done it. <laughs> and then Nate said the, the, the magic words, Frito Boats. And I went, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. We must. So corn chips is what you definitely need, right? Like little Fritos. And then I went ahead and even got the Amy's Organic Chili. I have to tell you, I've tried, I think, pretty much all the varieties of Amy's chilies that are vegan friendly in the past and they're amazing. They're actually one of my favorite for like, you know, canned chili. The thing is, and I'll just put it out there for you guys if it's something that you watch, and I wouldn't say I watch it like, you know, hardcore or anything, but they're just so high in sodium, you know, like canned chilies. And you can make such delicious homemade chili. But again, the mood struck and there we were. And so we did it. <laughs> so we'll see. Maybe maybe we got our fix now with the donut and we won't actually do this for a little while, but we'll see. And then I wanted to mention to you guys that right now, I know this is Bean Fields and I love them too, but there is uh, on sale right now, the late July jalapeno lime, like Dorito type chips are on sale at Whole Foods. They were just completely out of them at ours. But I have to throw that out there for you because you know they're my favorite and they're so good. And you gotta get your hands hands on them if you can find them but I did see these there and the jalapeno nacho I may have tried these actually but it's been a long time but these chips are actually made from beans and you would be so shocked at how good they really are and you wouldn't really know that they're beans especially when they're coated in delicious flavor so got some of those as well got two cans of tomato sauce maybe i will actually you know make my own chili instead <laughs> and then i did get another thing of the tofurkey slices again to go with the lavash i love this together so good and then again yesterday on the vlog i had showed quickly when i went to vons to pick up a few things that i had seen this and one of you even commented hi carly and she's like get your buns back down there <laughs> and get them. They're so good, apparently, sauteed up, and so I have to do it. So I saw them at Whole Foods, and I was like, I'm getting them. So here they are, the plant-based chicken by Tofurky as well. I, again, I don't think I've tried this. It caught my attention yesterday as a new item, but I don't know. Maybe it's been out a while, but I'm excited to try it out. We will see. And there's the chili there. I have mentioned these. This is one of the first I think varieties from Back to Nature that I actually tried, the Fudge Mint Cookies. Oh my goodness. And then it kind of opened the door for me trying a bunch of their products. Oh man, my friends, these are so good. Um, they kind of taste like the Girl Scout Thin Mints. And what I like to do is make like a protein shake, right? And then at the end, put that in there. Blend it up just like kind of coarsely or even sprinkle it on top amazing so good and then i did get some more of the traditional medicinals throat coat lemon echinacea tea i love this was not on sale i try to find these when they go on sale and kind of stock up but i'm completely out and i love incorporating this pretty much daily it's so good as well as the echinacea plus tea by traditional medicinals and then last but not least my friends i did see that they had this huge canister from again their brand of these organic old fashioned oats and i had to do it it's a lot there's a lot going on in here too oh, geez almost 3 pounds what i did really like about this was the fact that they are organic and i've told you guys that you know i'm not like a stickler with these things all the time but if I can for stuff that like I do really eat all the time, which you guys know, oats is one of those things I try, you know, and sometimes it's tough. Even Costco sells such a great variety of oats, but none of them are uh, organic. It's kind of interesting. And so I just thought, you know what? I'm going to get it and I'm going to be set for a while. So I thought I would share that with you guys too, if you need to stock up as well. Anyway, my friends, that is everything. You guys know I do this normally very different, but because it was a kind of different haul this time, I thought we would just change it up and Nate could say hi to you guys as well. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.